Yo, what up, my name is Derek, and today I'm going to show you guys how to improve your FPS in Apex Legends. I'm going to show you guys like Windows ISOs that you can use that will improve your FPS and also some things inside the Steam and config files that will also improve your FPS. We'll also jump into the game and I will show you the, um, the graphic settings that we're going to change, okay? So the very first thing we're going to want to do is download the pack. It'll be in the description in my mega probably, or I'll just have a link to it so you guys can download it. Um, but the first thing we're going to go through is custom Windows 10 ISOs. So you have, I have two here. This is their Discord. So we have Fox uh, OS and then we have GGOS. Now this is my benchmark file that I made a while back. If you watch my video on it, you can see that re, uh, Revision or Revi OS and then Fox OS are the best. But um, in terms of like overall, I think you should go with GGOS if you care about like latency because Revi, Revi has a little bit more latency. So I recommend GGOS or Fox OS. Um, but the tweaks that we're going to add today too will also improve FPS more than what this number is. Um, but yeah, you can see how I test this just low settings, fire range, 60 seconds, shooting some, um, from some targets. Okay. So you can look at this. This will be in the file too. You can see the other uh, iOS or ISOs here too. Okay. The next thing is the auto exec. So um, for this, I have two files in here. I have a video config and then I have an auto config. You can actually check this out if you want to. If you just open it up with a notepad, you can actually see what's in here. This is it. somebody made this on GitHub that I will link in the description. Um, thanks for making this. this. There's a lot of stuff in here. Um, if you don't want to use all this, then you don't have to use all this, but I recommend just using everything that's in here. Um, if you have any problems, then just get rid of the auto exec maybe use a different one um there's other there's all types of ones you can find online i can maybe link a couple in the description um but let's talk about how to actually install these okay so what we're going to do is we're going to go to our steam apex legends this is for the auto exec we're going to go to we're going to right click our apex go to properties now while we're in here too i will show you the launch options and we could do this too so these will probably be enabled for you i recommend disabling each one of those and then for launch options i actually have a txt here so inside of here i'm just going to copy and paste this really quickly um what i recommend doing is uh leaving this because they're going to need this full screen this will force for, full, full screen full screen wow full screen it will force full screen this will force uh so you don't have vsync this is frequency so if you have 100 if you have 60 hertz or 120 or 144 or 165 160 or even 243 60 just set this to whatever your frequency is at for fps max um it is recommended not to have unlimited fps in this game because what can happen is your fps if when you have unlimited fps you can um encounter crashing you can also encounter things like micro stutters so just set this to like 190 um or maybe what your uh, refresh rate is. This high will set it to a uh, high priority. This will just enable the dev console and Novid will make sure that you skip the starting um, starting uh, loading process. Okay, what we're gonna do is gonna go local files now and go to browse. Let's so open up a little, a Windows Explorer here. And inside of here, we can actually do a couple of things before we get into the config is we're going to go to R5 Apex, go to properties and just go to compatibility and disable full screen optimizations. And then you can also do override high device scaling there, press apply. Okay. And then also uh, the config. So here's the config right here. So we're going to go to config and inside of here, we're not going to change anything in here. All we're going to do is import the auto um, exec right here. So we're just going to, uh, I'm just going to copy this. We're going to copy and paste it in here like this, and then boom. That's all you got to do. Now, you can also do this to um, this. I think if you just disable or if you just um, close this or not have this, um, it'll automatically um, use it anyways, right? So if you just get rid of that, it'll automatically use the auto X every time you open up your game. That's that. Now, the next thing is the video config.txt file. To find this, we're going to open up a new Windows Explorer here. Let me just close this one out. We're going to go to our C drive, users, the name, go to save games, respawn, apex, and then local. And then inside of here, you're going to see video config. We're just going to take this file and just right go here, uh, move it in here. Actually, I'm going to skip real quick. I can just copy and paste it like that, replace it. 
make sure it actually replaced yep and that's it now what we're going to do is we're going to open up apex so i might have uh issues with opening up apex with the whole with the whole uh recording we'll see so let's just open up apex here Alright, we're in Apex Legends now. Press on continue there. We're gonna skip this. You won't be able to hear any in any of the game audio, which is fine. Through here. So once we're in here, you're gonna see right away that your um the graphics will be a lot worse. They'll be very, very low. So we're gonna go to video settings right away. Go to video here. And most of these are all gonna be set to a value um that you're gonna um that was from the video config that we imported so a lot of these you won't need to change a couple things that we are going to change though is texture streaming budget we're going to change this to whatever your gpu's vram is so for me it's three gigabytes so i'm going to apply that to three gigabytes um, a couple other things that i want to change is the fov so for me i want 110 you can change that the lower the bit the lower the better the lower you will also get more F a little bit more fps um but i just want to do 110 because i like that much um field of view but that's that's really it for the field of view and the, or for the uh, graphic settings in apex legends um but yeah that's that's pretty much it for apex uh for this F fps boost guide it was pretty simple because we didn't really do registry tweaks we didn't really touch anything like that because we don't need to um because sorry if i touched the microphone there um we didn't need to because um when it comes to the tweaking with the OSs, they come with uh, post installs. They also come with tweaked windows already. So you don't need to automatically tweak them. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys liked this video. I hope this helped you. If you have any problems, let me know in the comments. Um, I'll have links to everything in the description. But uh, anyways, uh, subscribe, hit that bell so you know when I upload more videos like this. But anyways, uh, peace out.